truth team, what say you, Judge Marin? You gotta get off your pity pot. You yes. gotta stop blaming everybody else. Look in the mirror and say, this is my life, I'm taking control, and I'm getting the drinking problem under control because I wanna live. You gotta do that. Don't be blaming everybody in the world. Ariva, I'm the cheerleader on this panel, so I'm always cheering for the underdog. So I just want you to know, Vivica brought it up, statistically, black men, we're in trouble in this country. More black men are in jail than in college. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to be that statistic. And I'm just gonna pray, I'm gonna hope, and I'm just gonna just love you from afar and hope that you listen to everything you get here, and I'm gonna be your biggest cheerleader, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna be your biggest cheerleader. Rosie. You have to make a personal decision to change your story. Yes, ma'am. When you go home today, I want you to write down what you have been grateful from the past, what you have learned, and write down five things that you're grateful that your mother has given you. Yes. All right. Change that story, not what has not happened, but what has happened. Mm -hmm. All right. Change the story so you can change the outcome of your life. You have to make that choice to change. Yeah. Change your story. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Dr. Yes, Judy. I, as a clinical psychologist, I see that there's something deeper that's going on. Yeah. I know we've talked about the alcohol. Yeah, it is. It is. That's why, because it is. It's not even just the alcohol. That's what I'm saying. Right. That's what she blames it on. But that's not it. Stop blaming. <laughs> Listen. Well, alcohol is probably one of the symptoms to your pain. It's one of the ways that you've been trying to cope. And if you keep going this way, you're not gonna have the future that I know you and your mom want for you. So if you are ready to make that change today, we want to introduce you to Dr. Howard Samuels. He's here with us from the Hills Treatment Center, and he has something he'd like to say to you. I was just like you when I was 26 years old, blaming my family, not taking responsibility, and doing drugs and alcohol, okay? I wanna give you a gift along with this show a gift to change your life and be a man. And this is the key, all right? The moment of truth is that we go right now, right after this show, get in my car and drive 20 minutes to my treatment center and make you a man. I'm crying. Oh my God. You can't be mad at your mama because she worked hard and provided for you. Your two sons, they don't either need to go visit your gravesite or to visit you in jail. Be, be a good man. Life is worth living. Make your mama proud. Yes. Challenge yourself to do that. You can do it. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Stop making excuses. Just go do it. All right? Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you, sir. Ty and Levina, I want to thank you all for having the courage to face the truth.